Hey everybody, it's Lisa. I am in Chattanooga waiting for my friend Trish. We're gonna have lunch. Um, however, I had an experience a little while ago and I wasn't gonna tell anybody about it, but I feel it's, in, it's an important message to share and risk losing my reward because it's so imperative in the times that we're living. You know, God is a spirit, and so he's, in, he's invisible. And his son Jesus came on this earth and resurrected to heaven, so he's no longer on this earth. So as a follower of Jesus and a disciple, I have his spirit living inside of me. And so how are we as followers of Jesus and his teachings, how are we to represent uh, him on this earth? We are his hands and his feet. We are his mouthpiece. We are his um, resource. So the things that people need, they come through us. And I say all that to say, you can go to church every Sunday, maybe hit Wednesday. Um, you can give money in the offering. But if you're not, laying your life down and loving one another and loving him with all your heart than everything else you do on Sunday and Wednesday and giving money is all in vain. And if we don't have love, it says you can give everything to the poor and you can even have your body burned at the stake. But if you don't have love, you're nothing. So I'm, I had a situation today where God opened the doors for me to be his hands, to be his heart and it just kind of impacted me and rocked me to say, there are people all around us every day who are hurting, who need his hands, who need his heart, who need his feet, who need to do stuff for them. Not just say, bless you, be warm and go your way. Like we are to be there, not only just to pray for people, but to be there for what they need in the physical realm. So my encouragement is, what if, you were Jesus, his attributes on this earth. What if you loved your neighbor as yourself? What if you were his hands? What if you were his feet? What if you were his mouthpiece? What if you hugged someone who had just lost their husband and their son and was like heartbroken? What if you stopped and made the time for other people to be Jesus and to be love to them? So I helped somebody today and they said, why did you help me? And I just said, because I love Jesus, and Jesus loves you. And that, as his followers, is what we're commanded to do. So I want to encourage you, get out of your comfort zone. Stop being afraid. Help somebody. Like, I told somebody the other day, if I go down because I help somebody, like, if I go down because I help somebody and maybe they weren't trustworthy and they took advantage of me or even hurt me physically, killed me, I would rather stand before God and say, I was your hands and your feet, than to go, oh, I was too afraid. What if they hurt me? You know, as a believer and as a disciple of Jesus, I'm dead. My life is dead. Christ lives inside of me. I'm already dead. So it doesn't matter what people do to this physical body. Like, be his hands. We're to be his hands. We're to be his feet. We're to be his mouthpiece. So that's what I had to say. What if you were Jesus in the flesh? Think about that. Love you.